Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the US dollar index for Friday, January the 29th, 2010. Well, a very bullish day today and we expected that the market was going to test this 79 region and it did test it in a big way. The market just traded all the day right up through to the resistance area that we identified at 79.50. A very large green bodied candle and what I like about this trend in the first time frame as it's been developing is that the size of the body of these candles has been growing larger and larger as the trend continued on its way. And the, the, where the market is closing on each day is edging higher and higher up towards the highs. And that's reflecting that the market is building, uh, that the buyers are building in commitment as this first time frame uptrend continued on its way. Quite often, though, when we see this type of candle and we have, uh, after a series of uh, fairly strong uh, bullish days, and we see this type of candle where the close is right up at, at the high where the market has uh, shown a lot of keenness, uh, and we define that by the close versus the previous day's close, and where the market's um, showing the bulls to be uh, um, in very with taking very strong control of this market and showing very strong commitment, the market does tend to relax. So there is potential for that to happen over the next few days, especially because the market is trading at the 79.50 region that we previously identified as an area of resistance. So we need to watch that area. If the market does trade up above there, with a solid bearish uh, day, then there isn't a lot of resistance on the way up until we get to the round number 80 and then above that 80.4, which was a previous level that the market uh, could um, find resistance at. Above there, the next level is up around 81.40. So if this bullishness does continue in the market, then there is potential for the market to uh, appreciate in a major way. Now the market is trading up above the cloud of the Kumo, which uh, reflects the uh, positive bias of this market in the longer term time frame and also the market is trading up above the Kitchensen and Tenkinsen reflecting the bullishness in the medium term time frame and the short term time frame. We can see that the, both the Tenkinsen and Kijunsen are pointing up very sharply and that reflects the very strong upside momentum that the market has at the moment and as I've said previously when we, especially the Tenkinsen, when we tend to see that point up very sharply, the market tends to have a correction back towards that level. So there is a possibility that the market may trade back down towards the 78.21 level and find support and then bounce off there. Of course, if the market does attempt to trade off there, then we need to watch the 79 region or 78.94 more specifically which is the potential area of support because it was a previous area of resistance that the market attempted to trade through. And we know that resistance can become support and support can become resistance. So that's an important level if the market does come off. So overall, uh, very bullish. The odds are that the market will make an attempt on the 79.50 region. If not uh, over the next few days, uh, there's enough bullishness here for it to look as though the market will do it eventually. Um, we may expect the market to have a bit of a rest and find some sort of equilibrium around these levels or potentially retrace part of this uh, very strong high momentum upswing that the market's been in over the last week or so. So uh, watch this level around 79 and then uh, to the upside of the 79.50 level. Mm -hmm.